Welcome to Excel and Finance video number seven. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Finance in Excel, Chapter 00. Hey, this is our last video for Chapter 00, which is just our introduction to Excel and Math. Uh, we want to talk about stylistic formatting. We talked about number formatting, very much even more important than stylistic formatting, but we do want to talk about stylistic formatting. Just briefly, we want to see how to add borders, fill, color, font color, and we'll do some number formatting also. Now I'm gonna, um, I want to highlight this little table right here. One way to do it is to take your cursor and click and drag, right? Another way is if the table has data everywhere, you can hit control asterisk, and I'm going to use the asterisk on the number pad. It control asterisk means highlight the current table. Now I want to show this home ribbon because it's got some good formatting. And I'm going to right click and unminimize. I want to add some borders. That's borders. There's other types of borders in this class. We will have to use top, uh, single top, double bottom border for some of our totals, on, especially on financial statements. Um, borders are right there. They're also in Control One. You could do borders this way. And we'll see how to do this later in the class uh, when we're doing uh, financial statements. Now I want to add some color. So right here, I want to add some fill color. So I come to the bucket. And this is based on themes. Um, here's some of the old, some colors, but here's more colors. And I usually like to come here. Some of my favorite colors here are like that yellow and that blue. But whatever you use, uh, that's fine. I'm going to click uh, Cancel. I'm going to use this one right here. Font color, same thing, more down here. Uh, colors here, I'm going to select a, a light font color. Now the rule is, when you use a dark back color, including red, which most people think are is a light color, it's not really. If you use a, a dark, a black font on red, when you print it out, you can't read it. So the rule of thumb is, if it's even a little bit dark, like red or dark blue like I was going to use, then you want to use a very light font color, and white is usually pretty good. Uh, now, that number right there is a dollar. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Control Shift 4. Or you could, to apply currency, you could Control 1, and then go to the number pad for currency. Right now, I need to highlight this, this, and this as percents, showing three decimals. So I'm going to click in this cell, and now I'm going to hold the Control key because I want to highlight cells that are not contiguous. It just means they're not next to each other. Highlight cells, hold Control, click. You highlight cells not next to each other, called non-contiguous. Control one. I'm going to click percent, and I'm going to show three decimals and then click OK. And so it did it to both of those cells. Um, all right, that's just a little bit about uh, uh, stylistic formatting. That's about all of the formatting we'll do. Actually, if we have a formula, these are formulas, like I said in a couple videos ago, I'm going to color them green, just so you know that these are inputs and these are formula results. All right, uh, that's the last video for Chapter 00. We'll start Chapter 1 talking about finance. Uh, next video. See you then.